Hi Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me for another video. My name is JC of the Mindful Awakening and these are your messages for the month of June. Please make sure you hit that like button, you subscribe to my channel and you hit that notification bell so that you'll be told of when I drop a next video. I am hoping these messages resonate with you but if they don't, please make sure that you check out your moon and your rising sign videos for other messages that may resonate for you better. Please keep in mind as well that energy is fluid, so timelines may not apply to you right now and you may have to check again at a later date to see if these messages resonate. Um, Storylines can also be reversed and take with you only what resonates. We're going to pull from the Light Series Tarot deck for your main tarot messages. We're then going to clarify using the Chakra Oracle Wisdom cards. And then we're going to pull a grounding energy from the Lemuria Oracle deck. All right, let's take a look and see what the messages are for you. Sagittarius signs, sun, moon, and rising for the month of June. Show us what we need to see for the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies. What do we need to see for Sagittarians? Sagittarius signs, sun, moon, and rising. Oof. Okay, well then, your first card is a two of swords upright. You guys are feeling trapped, confused, not sure what direction to go in. What else can you show us for Sagittarius signs, sun, moon, and rising for the month of June? What do we need to see? Mm. Okay. <laughs> You know what? We might just have to start off with these two cards and I'm going to continue to pull as we go along in the storyline. So we have the two of swords upright and the temperance card in reverse. You guys are feeling really confused about a situation. Stuck, stagnant energy, trapped, unsure which direction to take. Um, feeling all sorts of whack right now, like you were just totally out of whack. Um, emotionally with the temperance card in reverse this is your energy the temperance card is a Sagittarian card but it's also in reverse which means you are feeling extreme highs extreme lows some of you may be in a depression right now um, and I don't use that word lightly either what I really mean is just like extreme sadness uh, followed by extreme bursts of energy where you just all of a sudden feel like you're okay I'm seeing a lot of ups and downs a lot of unpredictable uh emotional emotional feelings at the moment let's continue to pull what else do sagittarians need to know i need i just need some more clarity guys i'm sorry um because this could mean anything it could be some of you are confused in terms of what to do about your job situation some of you can be confused about your current relationship um Okay, yeah, you guys are wanting more stability in your lives. I do have here the Page of Wands coupled up with the Ten of Cups. Both of these cards are upright. You have a lot of passion towards um, a love relationship or that's what you're wanting. Um, you want to move towards something that's more stable, something that's more secure, where you could be vulnerable with your heart open, where you could share things with your partner, where you could uh, have that happily ever after, like a security in this relationship. And I think for some of you, some days it's there and other days it's not. And I think because it's so up and down, you're not really quite sure what to expect on any given day. And that's what's making you feel a little bit out of whack emotionally and also trapped. When is this ever going to feel stable? With the Page of Wands, this is also your energy. You could also be dealing with another uh, fire sign, another uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, it could just be your energy as well of channeling your spunky, spontaneous, fun-loving self and using your positive energy to influence your love relationship or even with your family, um, those that you hold dear to you. You're using your fire sign energy to influence in a positive way those relationships. Um, I see that that is your overall goal. And again, we're starting off the reading with the Two of Swords upright and the Temperance card in reverse, which means there's days you feel great and you're able to do that. But the days where you can't show up that way, 
where you can't be so positive every minute of the day where you feel like you can't overcompensate for someone else's lack you get really down it almost feels as though you're kind of tired of doing everything on your own with the eight of pentacles in reverse as much as you know there's options there you feel like there are no options like what are you doing with yourself it's very scattered energy if you relate to this on a business level it's like okay there's so many job opportunities all over the place but none of them are ones that i actually really want but i see that there's so many different ways i could take this i think some of you um are kind of la like at a crossroads with what to do in terms of career um, like I said, many different options, many different roads that you can take, but you're still unsure about exactly which road or which option you want to take hold of. The good news is this is the pentacle. So in some ways, no matter what option you pick, you can actually create something pretty stable from this. But I don't think that's what your concern is. It's not only the security that comes with having a job. It's knowing that it's a job that is suitable towards your energy something that lights you up something that makes you want to get up and dance and scream and shout something that motivates you every day to get up and give it 100 percent and i don't necessarily think that all the jobs that you see that are represented by all these different pinnacles you can have your pick but i don't know that any of these things are actually what will light you up and i think you know that but I also think that there's a sort of pressure that's being placed on you to have to figure it out quickly because you want stability, you want love, you want that hap happily ever after. And I think some of you have associated having that feeling and getting there with making sure that you have a solid job to back it all up. And so you're kind of stuck, you're feeling trapped. And I think some of you are starting to get a lot of anxiety and panic over not knowing exactly what you're supposed to do next regarding so many opportunities in the space of work as much as i see that this could be a love relationship where you're feeling trapped you're not really sure where to go there's so many different things that you can do to inject more love and fire and spontaneity and fun into your relationship um i feel like this is more of a job reading like a workplace reading but it can certainly apply to relationship as well if you've been feeling stuck in your relationship the energy has been kind of the same for a while you're missing this this type of energy where you're just having fun with your partner and it's not so serious all the time where you two could settle into commitment with one another um i'm still feeling like you're tired of putting in all of the work you're just stuck and I do see, though, that I think the way out of all of this is, number one, you got to temper your energy, which means you might, have a take, you might have to take a step back from your current situation in order to rediscover your center. I feel like you're very all over the place right now, very scattered energy again with the temperance card in reverse. You are just way too all over the place in order to make a very clear choice about what you're trying to do or where you're trying to go oh my gosh as i say confused look at the card that pops up you're confused i just said that <laughs> um yeah and so i really feel like this is a season june is a season for you to rediscover your passions it's going to make you feel really uncomfortable though because i think on some level as spontaneous as you are you also like a little bit of stability and i think that's what's missing in your life right now is stable energy oh here we are impasse this is what i just said so many options these cards are pretty much the same so many options which one do i pick what path do i take do i go right do i go left what are the consequences if i choose either or some of you may be juggling two different people two relationships it could be do i stay with this person should i break up with this person should i continue being committed to to this person do we need to reevaluate our relationship if this is work it's should i take this job should i take that job should i start my a totally different job should i be an entrepreneur and just say fuck it to all these jobs what do i do this is what do i do i'm confused somebody please help me figure out what to do with my life and because of this confusion i'm sad 
upset, frustrated, angry, annoyed. Somebody please just help me is what I'm feeling out of this right now. You guys are being called to go on a quest. You got to put those control issues to the side, Sagittarians, because as much as you love spontaneity, you love controlled spontaneity and spontaneity, spontaneity that you chose, not necessarily that someone else chose and you have no idea where you're going. Um, you're being called to go on a quest right now to trust your intuition. This is not a season in your life where you're going to have all the answers. <laughs> And I know that some of you hate to hear that, but this is a self-discovery journey all over again. You got to start from nothing. And in starting from nothing, you will recognize your ability to generate and create at all times. If you are missing that stability, you can create it. If you're missing a job that makes you happy, lights you up, you can create it. If you're missing fun, loving, spontaneous energy in your relationship, you can create it. I think this month is all going to be about remembering your power, remembering your ability to do all of these things on your own. All of these things are related to feelings and emotions. If you want to feel secure, you can. If you want to feel love, you can. You can do all of these things, but you have to be willing to surrender. To surrender to the process of this quest. To surrender to the idea of rediscovering who you are because you're not the same person you were and I think the solutions you used to uh, go to no longer fit where you're at right now and I think that's also why you're probably in like panic mode because the things that you would have done to get yourself out of it you're realizing you can't do those things anymore all right we have crystal keys as your grounding energy Lemurian quartz crystals are special pieces of clear quartz said to have been encoded with great knowledge for the spiritual evolution of the human race. This card is about deciphering wisdom codes. Be inspired to find the wisdom hidden in times when you feel triggered. There is so much information within our raw and intense reactions that when you choose to be present and peel back the layers, Great spiritual insight will unveil itself in a way tailored just for you. Wisdom comes through inner paradoxes. Be awed and in creative flow or a state of surrender, which is what I just said. These crystals may be powerful keys to your spiritual evolution. So if you have a Lemurian crystal, use it in your meditations. And if you don't, that's okay. You don't necessarily need to go and rush out and get one. But the whole meaning of this card is letting go of all of the expectations you have for yourself, for the outcomes that you think you need to have, for the people you think that need to be in your life, for situations that have to turn out a certain way. Let it all go. Let it go, Sagittarius. Surrender yourself to the quest and allow yourself to just be taken where you need to be taken. Okay, pay attention to all the signs, to the synchronicities, and be okay with not having the answers immediately. Things will unfold in perfect divine timing. And that's what your message is for this month. It really is about letting go and surrender. And when you don't let go and surrender, you will continue to feel trapped and you will continue to feel confused. So it's time. Let go to needing to know the outcome and controlling every choice that you make and say yes to the quest. I hope these messages resonated with you and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.